The Tom Bin Pilot. I have had a bunch of Tom Bin bags over the past 15 years or so. Tom Bin's been around since 1972. I've been with him since around 2002 or so. I started with this bag. They don't even make some of these anymore. I'm not even sure what this is called. If you know, let me know because I can't remember. But this was my initial work bag and I used it for a few years and liked it. And then I picked up one of the laptop bags. Also don't make this one anymore. But this is a great laptop bag with lots of protection for their for the laptop. And then I picked up the Super Cavernous Brain Bag. This bag's been all over the world with me. And this is a cavernous backpack. I think it holds like 40 liters. So if you need a big backpack for travel, check one of these out. But the review today is about the Pilot. The Pilot is a new updated larger design of their Co-Pilot. And these bags are intended to be as a travel carry-on type bag. The Co-Pilot, like I said, a little bit smaller. People wanted a little bit more size and they came out with the Pilot. This bag is $160. It comes in several colors. Uh, I'll put a link down below to the website. You can check all the colors out. Uh, there's seven current colors. There's five colors coming, at least at the time of this video, but there's black, gray, orange, green, blue. Uh, and then there's a kind of sort of checkered pattern, which is a little bit different material. The bags are made out of a 1050 ballistic nylon. It is super tough. And then there's an also a version that's made out of a 400 denier halcyon, which is 35% lighter and it's also less stiff. So it's going to be more uh, sort of, I don't know, flimsy is not the word, I guess. I haven't seen it in person, but it's not as stiff and, and firm as the 1050 denier ballistic nylon bags. These bags will hold a 13 inch laptop. My 15 inch MacBook will not fit in here, but the 13 inch ones will. Here's my 15 inch MacBook. And as you can see, it's a little bit big for the bag. The pocket in the back, it will not fit in because it's just a little bit, a little bit too big. So 13 inch laptop will fit, 15 inch MacBook will not fit. Let's have a look around the bag. The strap, there's the standard strap that comes with it. The strap is attached on both sides. And I like that the strap is attached right in the middle of the bag. So it's good for, for weight balance. My previous bag, I got this as a work bag. My previous bag, the strap was attached on the back and the bag always sat a little bit off kilter. So I like that this is attached right in the middle. The strap is removable if you don't want to use it, or if you want to get their ultimate strap, which is a little bit more padded, it's a little bit more comfortable if you need to, you can get that. The strap is adjustable right here. And then if you'd, you just shorten it down, that will pull into the middle of the sleeve there. So that's the strap. On the top, there's a carry handle. The carry handle is also right in the middle, which I also appreciate. Makes it nice and comfortable for carrying. It's a little bit padded and easy to grab. It sticks up a little bit. Front of the bag, the Tom Bin logo down here. There's a couple pockets. The zipper pulls are, I don't know if they're brass or steel, whatever they are, metal YKK zippers. They come just standard, but then they also include some zipper pulls. And there's several different videos that they've put out on different ways to put these zipper pulls on, but you can kind of weave them through the, the zippers here and make some zipper pulls and they will make it a little bit easier for, for pulling on them. And some people also like it because they'll make the zippers a little quieter for what that's worth. So the front pocket here, there's a middle pocket. This pocket is intended as either a water bottle or an umbrella pocket. It's a nice size pocket. It fits my 24 ounce Contigo 24 ounce coffee pitcher or coffee mug here. And the inside of the pockets are made of a 200 near halcyon fabric. They're all, all the bags, they, the interior is lighter so that you can see what's going on, on the inside, see what with the pockets, if it's a little bit dark, you know, especially with these black ones. So the inside of this one, it's a big pocket. On the bottom of it, since it is supposed to be either an umbrella or a water bottle type pocket, on the bottom of it, there is a hole such that if the water leaks or your umbrella needs to drain, the water can get out the bottom and it won't pool in the bottom of the pocket. But this is great because I a lot of times will bring this to work for coffee and it holds it no problem. And there's two pockets on the front here, one on each side. On this side, there is a little keeper here that you can, you can, they have a bunch of different organizational pouches that you can attach to this and several of their other bags. You can put your keys on here, anything else. If you don't like it, if you don't need it, you can take it off. There we go. You can take it off. No problem. In this pocket, there are 
one larger type pocket that you can put your cell phone if need be. My Droid Turbo 2 just barely fits in this. It's very snug. But if I was using this as a travel bag anyway, I usually keep my phone in my pocket. But that's how my phone fits. Pretty snug, but you can put whatever else you need in there. And then over here, there are several pen pockets there are a little bit larger so that you can fit a thicker pen or a highlighter or whatever you need to. And then down in the bottom, just one large pocket. Sometimes I keep my wallet down there. On the other side, this side has just one large pocket here. Right now I keep my glasses in it that I use at work. And then down at the bottom here, I have a little Bluetooth speaker. I think I'm gonna start putting my Amazon tap in this pocket. Looks like it'd be the perfect size for that. And then I have some cables down the bottom. And there is, there's a decent amount of space in here to keep some stuff in front of that pocket. So a nice large size there. And again up here, there's another little clip if you wanna put something on there. On the back, one of the things I wanted in a bag was I wanted a bag that I could put papers in so I wouldn't have to carry them in my hand when I was leaving work. And this is a regular eight and a half by 11 size envelope and it fits in here no problem. The other thing that this bag does is that on the bottom of this pocket here, there is a zipper. And this will unzip. And you can use this as a pass-through because if you're using this as a travel bag, you can slide this over the handle on your luggage as you're wheeling through the airport. But if you're not gonna use it for that, zip it back up and it becomes a pocket. This pocket is also has the lighter fabric on the inside so you can get a little better look down into it. And then the main pockets here. The only thing I don't like about this is that a lot of times this sits and this dips in a little bit here. This is a small dislike, but this will dip in a little bit here. I wish it held a little bit more firm like that. Again, it's a small thing. The bag does sit up by itself, which I also like, especially depending on how much stuff you're gonna put in it. But on into the big main pocket here. And just some stuff I have for work in it. Stethoscope, some jerky one of the nurses makes. So in here, there are two large pockets. Again, the lighter material. I have some gum down in here. But there's the inside here. Two large pockets. Nice and big, and a little space on the bottom as well. So plenty of space in there. Carrying this bag, just to give you an idea of the relative size, it's a good medium sized bag. I'm 5'7", 160 pounds or so, and there it is on me. It's not too big, not too small. Comfortable on one side of the body, or if you want to do a crossbody type strap, that's comfortable as well. Get it with the regular strap or for $20 extra, you can get it with the ultimate strap if you need to carry it a little bit longer distances. But that's about it. I've had this bag for a month or so. I've been using it for work and I've really enjoyed it. So check one out, the Tombin Pilot.